Chinese investment in the U.S. has been in the rapid rise in recent years. Wanxiang America, a Chicago-based auto parts company, is a pioneer. The company now employs over 13,000 people in more than 26 U.S. states. Today, we have the opportunity to speak with Mr. Ping Ni, president of Wanxian America, who is coming to New York to receive the award from China General Chamber of Commerce USA as the most influential business person of the year. At that time, USA was no question at all the largest auto market in the world. So, if anyone wants to be a global company, you're not going to be able to miss the USA market. And、uh, from Wen Shan's point of view, at that time, there are two fundamental reasons. One is obviously the market. You know, you want to be in the largest market for your product. You cannot miss that. But the more important is the management system, because、uh, you know, if you want to improve yourself, if you want to move to the next level, you need to set up your goal at a much higher. So working in the United States will help us to change the management system in China, which will indeed improve our ability to be as a global company. So that was the I would say that was probably the two fundamental reason is the respect in the market is the so critical, you know, and、uh, we oftentimes、uh, at, at least at the beginning a lot of Chinese company who. Came here, didn't understand what the market means. It's all about sales. I sell to you, you sell to her, then I will sell to her directly. Say, if I sell you the dollar, I sell her the dollar too. So very quickly destroy the market. The market is not about you selling to everyone at all time. The market is more about you selling to your own customer, and now your job is to make sure they can make money. That is very critical to us. If our customer cannot make money by selling our product, then something is wrong. We need to find a way to help them to make money, because otherwise it's not going to be long term.、Mm-hmm. So we have, you know, as just an example, we have laid on. Some people left the Wanshan in China, started another company to compete with Wanshan. They came here to the United States to visit, a, you know, our customer. Say, hey, I can offer thirty percent less. You know, can you buy from me? Our customer. Every single one of them will call us, say, "Hey, do you want us to see them?" I said, "It's up to you. I cannot stop you to see them, right?" I said, "No, no, no. We're not going to see them. We're a friend. We're a partner. I'm not going to see them." I said, "Hey, they're going to be thirty percent less." No, 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 no. Not because they love us, frankly speaking. It's because of business relationship. Number one, they know we're very trustable, and for the other people, they can sell them at a thirty percent less. They can sell their customer at thirty percent less too. Very quickly, the market will be destroyed,、mm-hmm. and they know if we want to compete with them, we can easily destroy them too. So they know if we stay together, you know, work it out, and we can get the market protected. Uh, I would say, you know, the fundamental is、uh, pretty simple. You know, our business philosophy is、uh, empower people and award them. And、uh, <laughs> I always joke this: I don't believe you can manage people. I couldn't even manage myself. Can I manage my blood? Can I manage my cell? There's no way, right? But you can incentivize people. You can empower people. Our job is to make them the hero, right? And as long as we be fair, means we give them the opportunity. When the result is there, we award them. As long as we do that, you cannot believe how powerful this could be. That it doesn't matter whether he's a janitor or he's a CEO. If you give them the power to make right, they can make right. Can you give one example or two example of how empower make my work? Okay, yeah, I, I can give you a simple example. In our warehouse in Chicago, initially, you know, I mean, we got a lot of local labor. They're not very highly educated, not very skillful, you know. So we have、uh, all kind of、uh, mischievous. Okay, they couldn't count them right. You know, it should be s- supposed to be 100 piece. They ship only 98. You know, customer complain, all this kind of stuff. So we say, wait a minute, you know. 
it's not going to be easy for us to manage because I cannot follow them every day come to their shipment, right? So we say, okay, guys, this is your warehouse now. We're out. Now, if you ship right, every $100 you ship, there's a dollar in your pocket. Every $100 you miss ship, it's going to be 15 time penalty. If you miss three days in that month, you're not going to be allowed to participate. I don't care whether it's your personal holiday or sick day or whatever. It's just not fair to your colleague, right? If your on-time delivery is less than 97%, you're out. Every percent below 100%, the dollar will be discounted. First a few months, they owe company a lot of money because they didn't know what to do. Right. <laughs> and after a few months, beautiful. Never have any issue. They allocate the amount themselves and say, hey, you know, he's the guy can count better. We get him to count. If he's not there, let's double count. They know exactly what to do, right? So often debate is that we go to the warehouse and say, hey, guys, our business is double or tripled. Should we really hire more people? We don't have enough people. Oh, no, 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 we can handle it. Don't worry about it. We can handle it. You sure? Yeah, we handle it. Why? They don't want the pie to be Divide. shared by mm -hmm. more people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very, very powerful, very powerful. Very quickly, they, they got done. Same thing with our, you know, that many purchased the company. We don't send anybody there. We don't send uh, our CEO, CFO, or whatever, you know. We try to use a local team. All we did is just to empower them to say, hey guys, you're on your own. Okay, you're on your own. Don't look at me. <laughs> I will make sure, you know, financially you don't get out of line, but you're on your own. You need to make a business decision. You need to be held accountable to the decision you make, right? So I'm Chinese. I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't ask me. Ask yourself. Mm -hmm. But we will always say, put your money in too. You put a small money. I joke with them. Sure. I say, let's jump together, right? We will handcuff. We jump together. But I'm going to hold it a key, okay? So if the bow is going to sink, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to get off the bow first. You're going to sink with the bow. <laughs> but if we get to the other side of the bank, then you get a lot more reward than I do. So now you've got to line it up. You know, you line up the interest, then you are okay, you know. Uh, we actually been, I always say this, you know, we have been pretty lucky, frankly speaking, you know, in terms of, uh, we're very careful, so... I would say we're our own enemy, so you know uh, we don't really have any uh, bad partner or, or bad you know situation. However, the largest mistake I made was uh, when in the 2007, 2008, when the economy was hitting the downturn, we were not brave enough to purchase more asset. We could but we're too risky averse. So, you know, we missed a lot of opportunity. Otherwise, the company could be totally different today. Mm -hmm. That means uh, if you have no failed deal, that means you're too conservative. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a failed deal. I couldn't find a failed deal. So one side, that's great. You know, you have a perfect record. But on the other side, that means you're not trying right. enough, Deep you enough know. Value. Say, you know, again, uh, be very careful with the uh, business cycle in the United States. Uh, real estate in the United States is different from China. China is like one direction, right? <laughs> At least in the, you know, in general, right. it's going up because mm -hmm. you are in a rising economy. Mm -hmm. Here in the United States, the business is always very cyclical. It's just a reality. It will come and go, come and go, come and go. It's not because Japanese people were stupid. They were smart too when they made all the investment back in 1980s. But the one thing they missed is they didn't recognize the business could have come with a cycle. So you don't want to buy at the peak and sell it at the bottom. <laughs> That's the worst you could ever do in a business. But if you have to buy, you may have buy at the peak, but don't sell them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you're going to have to wait until the next the peak comes. Then you can, you, know, you can sell. Mm -hmm. So we were pretty lucky. You know, we got in when the market was at the bottom. And that's what I love the United States uh, business environment because the business cycle is always there. 
So you just wait at the right time to get in, then you're okay, you know, you're covered. We're still going to be focused on value creation. As I said, you know, you got to have some value that other people don't have. If you're just going to be another person in the room, I don't want to be in that room. Because our question, it's funny, our question when we do a deal, our first question is, if you die tomorrow, anybody's going to miss you on this world? That's the first fundamental question. If they say, nobody's going to miss me, okay, then that's not the business we want to be. Because you have no value, right? If we say, hey, if this company closed down tomorrow, somebody's going to miss you? They say, yeah, they're the customer, they need us. Okay, now here's the value. Same thing with our partner, you know, when we do a deal with our partner. If we, are, we, if we disappear, will they miss us? If they will miss us, what do they will miss us? Okay, here's the value. If there's a value, we will be at the table. If there's no value, we don't need to be at the table. So that's the still the fundamental principle it has never changed in the last 20 years after I started business. It's always the same thing, you know. Let's ask ourselves, not, not kidding ourselves, just ask blankly, are we gonna be missed? If we're gonna be missed, there's a deal to be made. Transparency and uh, compromising with this two in your mind, you can communicate it with anyone. <laughs> We're all human at the end. The, the mindset at the end, the thinking through, the logic is the same. Mm -hmm. You just need to be able to share very openly with your people. Then everybody will follow you. It's, it's not any. Leadership, as I said, leadership is not about managing people. It's more about leading people. Mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, as long as we do the right job. We, we are not a public company. We don't have a pressure to have to grow. Mm -hmm. We only want to grow if it's a good outcome. So if nothing for us to invest, we're going to sit tight and wait. If uh, there's a great opportunity, which I believe it will be, then we're going to invest very quickly. So you can, five years later, we can sit down here again. I can show you.